magic. I don't know why I'm going with that opening, but I am. I'm AD Dude. This is Dealing with the Supernatural. And yeah, doing a video a day for the entire month of October. Now, what is magic? Okay, that's like super complicated to explain. And yeah, I just got a beep there. So that's that magical timing. All right, magic. I honestly have put a lot of thought into trying to explain it. What's the difference between that and science? And in the end, I personally come up with, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. And hold on before you start talking, yeah. Uh, the way I see it, it's like if they're both a form of art. You need to know what you're doing, you need to express things, and you need to know when to break the rules. Also, how to break the rules. Uh, while music, uh, science would be more music, I think um, magic itself is more like painting. Express, it's, it comes down to a lot of uh, metaphors here. And that's kind of what magic comes down to. Metaphors and ideas. Bringing that idea forth into reality. And you're going to go into various, if you look it up, you go into the magic of one culture and into another culture, you're going to get different ideas, different things. But what, what I think what it comes down, boiled down to, it's basically will, effort, and energy coming forth into reality. Does that make any sense? I hope so. It, it gets a little more complicated than their uh, foci items to focus the energy and your will to make that thing into reality. And, and then there's things born of magic. It, it's a very complicated thing. And honestly, I could do probably a lecture circuit on this whole thing right here. But I'm trying to keep it simple. So it's basically effort, will, and energy bringing something forth into reality. If you want to go into more metaphysical context of this, that would be like, uh, what was it? I think it was Plato who said the idea of the truth. Basically, there exists a plane of existence where something is in its perfect form, the idea. And once you get into more into our plane of existence, that thing gets corrupted. It becomes less itself. It becomes something else. So the idea of a table is not as per the, what we have as a table is not the idealized uh, table in the th thought realm. And in a sort of way, that's how magic works. You have an idea and you're bringing it forth. It gets corrupted, it gets distorted, and in turn distorts our reality as it comes, you know, real to us. And that's basically it. We're pulling an idea out of somewhere and bringing it forth. There's a lot of things there, magic, energy, and the conservation of matter, but I'm it honestly, it would make a really long video to explain that, all that. The only thing I can really say uh, otherwise about performing magic is it's a good idea to find a safe foci, um, magical items you can use to start channeling energy. Once you do that, you can step up into channeling the energy by yourself and making magic on your own. Yeah, I actually think I covered everything I wanted to talk about there. Um... Uh, there is one thing I've noticed about magic users that prolonged use of magic can actually distort the mind. That is not to say every magic user is a little nutty, but it does seem a major majority. It's because you got to distort your own perception of reality to make a new aspect really come forth. So, yeah, you can get a few nut jobs. And besides that, um, magic does happen naturally. Forces activate on forces, stuff happens. And every once in a while, somebody's just going to be innately born with a spark to use magic. Instead of creating it, like I said. And, yeah, that's not... I mean, it's uncommon, but it happens. If you're wondering, there's maybe 100,000 natural-born magic users on the planet. And that sounds impressive, but remember, we're in the 7 billion area. That is a very low number. So, yeah. For bigger things on magic, it's going to take more effort. This is why you get groups, more force, more power of will. But otherwise, yeah, you guys really don't have to go all witch hunt on this. Because it's relatively safe. Most people, though a little eccentric, who use magic, yeah, eccentric. 
aren't all that bad. They realize probably shouldn't kill people. It's a bad thing. So, yeah. Generally, magic is just a force of combined effort, will, energy that's already there. So, no. It's not really all unnatural. Maybe supernatural, but not unnatural. So, there you go. Hope I taught you something. Or if I didn't, well, it's like five minutes. So, I hope I didn't waste a lot of your time. Anyway, Halloween's coming up, so I should probably prepare for that. I also should get the candles. Alright, till next time, try not to die.